What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. We got Jake Arrington. We got Venture. What's your full name? Michael Venture Gonzalez. And we got Luke Arrington. We're out here on Mr. Trevor's Ranch. Kelly's behind the camera. And y'all are gonna get to see a vlog video today, just how we live our life. We're out here in the middle of Trevor's beautiful lease and there's a cow pond right here. And if you watch Kelly's, I think second to the last video, it was an hour long. We actually filmed right here. This is just a cow pond out in the middle of the pasture. The west coast, the gulf is about, I think 80 miles that away and the Atlantic Ocean is 100 miles that away. And out here in the middle of the state of Florida, there's shark's teeth everywhere. And no, this isn't a shark's tooth video. Kelly and I are actually leaving today to go to Key West to film with dibs on bottom. Look at the size. But can y'all smell that? Woo! I want to show you a clip real quick of these boys doing something that my mom used to do with us and that's chase live armadillos down and catch them. So y'all watch this. Now armadillos are fast, they look like little mini dinosaurs, and these boys are in hot pursuit. Y'all watch this awesome little clip. And when you get back, I'm going to give these kids $10 for the first shark tooth found by one of the three of them. They got him. Got him. Pick him up. Pick him up. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> get him, Luke! Get him! Get him! Don't let him get down. That's like a good one. Don't let him get to his home. He got him. That boy's right. Hold him up. All right, stop right there. Hold him up. That's a, big one. That's a trophy right there, a trophy boar. And he's better than a boar. He a jumped on him and grabbed him one time. Then he got I out. I bumps right here. I want to go grab his. I want. I like got on top of him and I want to grab his tail. Don't let him. It feels like a Don't let him Got your leg. Tail. If you've never chased a live armadillo down and caught him by the tail, you've never, lived, <laughs> ever lived life. My mom, when we were these boys' age, she used to take the baseball team and we had a big swamp buggy with like a dog box in the back and we would go catch armadillos all night long and fill them up in that box and then when we got done, turn them all loose. And it, to me, it's just a memory that I, you... He gets $10. That didn't For take real? very long. Let me see. It's bullshit. Look at that. That's Venture nice found the first too. one. Yay! There you go. It was so funny watching them last night because Luke was going for the kicking approach. Now, some of y'all might think that that's cruel, but an armadillo's body is complete armor. You can not hurt them, little jokers, and they are the hardiest animals I've ever seen. Look at the day, though. Look, just look how beautiful it is. The cows. It's what is it? February? Into know. February, yeah. Oh. Another one? Ooh, yeah, it's smaller one. Yeah. Nice one. Jake got one too. Luke, you better hurry up. <laughs> both these boys got them. So real quick, I want to take the time to thank Mr. Frank Gonzalez, who's also Venture's dad. He owns Bev Smith Toyota in Fort Pierce, and he's who bought Jake's hog. Y'all watch this awesome auction right now. And when you're watching it, Jake has a little whip in his hand that he's tapping his hog with. That's actually how they train him. He is not hitting that hog hard at all. I didn't expect Mr. Gonzalez to do what he did. He was actually bidding against Mr. Trevor because Mr. Trevor loves Jake like he's his own son. And them two got in a bidding war and it was so awesome to watch. Jake's hog weighs 266 pounds, 266. Get it going. Thank you. 
auction like that like I said earlier you need to come because that was exciting Jake's hog I think ended up going for like $27 a pound that's a lot of money for a hog and if you're interested in what the kids are doing with these hogs I'll make another video soon I think because mr. Trevor and I actually bought another boys hog too where I'll explain why they have 4-H hogs what they're doing with them what what ends up with the hog and that whole entire process but today's video we're just showing you guys. Look right here, babe. Come here. So this pile of dirt came out of this pond behind us and it's solely for cows to be able to drink. But they also come up here and rub against this dirt. And right here is a stingray's jaw from no telling how long ago. Luke, did you have fun chasing them armadillos last night? Yep. Come here and tell the fan. What about you bidding on Jake's hog with Mr. Trevor? Was that exciting? Yeah. <laughs> Jake, at what dollar amount did you start getting really nervous? It went from $5 a pound to 7 to like 11 then 15 and then it went all the way to 27 I started shaking when it got to like uh, about 12 because I got 12 last year, but that's still a lot of money. Yeah, I mean, any... Why... Why must he roll in everything? Look at him, he's walking away right now. He was just Redneck. rolling in the mud. Get over here, Redneck. Redneck. Come here. Come here, stinker. He loves to roll in stuff. Redneck. Yeah, he's nasty. And if any of y'all are interested in a new Toyota, check out Bev Smith Toyota in Fort Pierce. That's where I just ordered my new 2022 because the new Tundras that they just came out with are 10 speed automatics. They pull harder and they get much better fuel mileage. And used trucks are worth so much, I can actually trade my truck in now for a new Tundra, the brand spanking new one, and not even lose much money, so. He's sitting in ants. Oh no. I think I got an ant right on my butt. Yeah, you and Redneck Ow. both. Redneck's freaking out. <laughs> so this layer of dirt right here, if you watch me and Luke's last shark tooth video, this is actually the layer. We're probably 20 miles from that last video and that layer is somewhere down there and it ended up on this pile and you can see it's got gravel on it and whatnot. That's just, oh, no. there went a little one. That's just where these teeth are at. So we're going to ride around with the boys for a little bit today. We got to make the two hour track home unpack get in kelly's truck load the spear guns loads of fishing poles and we're taking y'all along and we're going to end up in key west probably stop and eat dinner somewhere maybe around isla mirada and i'm so glad y'all are tagging along we're going to show you tons of cool stuff in this video stuff that we normally don't show that so many of y'all asked to see you guys we're over here in a serious shark tooth hunt and look over my shoulder Hear them cows, though. these people can't do anything seriously all right, here. See, if, I, if it was five years ago, I'd just jump off and sacrifice the knees, but I'm not doing that now. Come here. I'm trying to help you. You're not helping. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. <laughs> here. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, I'm going to hurt my hand. Uh. Slide down the back. Babe, I was a deadlifter in school. <laughs> what, do you really? <laughs> Because from what I hear, you went to the gym twice in your entire life. Well, I was too busy catching and killing stuff. 
All aboard! Yo, we absolutely love this thing. That was a good purchase. Was a good purchase. I've actually wanted side by side my whole life, but never really had a big place to use it. We've always had swamp buggies. Mr. Trevor and Mr. Brett Dubois allows us to come out here and spend a lot of time. It's huge. This place is like 6,000 acres. Brian Hopper as well lets us come. So we bought one and now we can ride around all night long comfortably, quietly, and effectively. Hey Luke, how come you're always the last one to come? He, he has to be the last one doing anything. I think it's a the not wanting to listen. Not so much being It's a awesome. rebellion <laughs> six-year-old. You guys, last night we didn't film in the course because we weren't filming. It was late at night. Venture, Jake, and Luke went hunting with Redneck and they came back and they're telling us this story. You couldn't really understand what they were saying. Luke walks into camp with a possum hanging by the tail and said, Dad, can we do a catch, clean, and cook on a possum? Did you take a picture of that? Huh? No, I didn't even take a picture of it. It was too late and I was too tired. Luke, get in! Come on! Hard head. Let's roll! He just said, can I get $10 because I found one first? You clearly did not find the first shark tooth. That was Mr. Venture. Welcome to life, Luke. Get in here. Yeah, life's not fair. What are we going to, uh, I'm trying to think what we're going to go do now. We got to get going is what we got to do. Kelly and I have a two hour drive home, like I said earlier, and then a five hour drive to Key West. And it's already noon right now. So it's going to be a long, late day. Look at this cow with the goofy horn though. Aw, wait, let me get a closer zoom in. Look at that thing. Honey, your horns are broke. at home and just like that we got camp cleaned up the side by side loaded up the truck loaded up all the kids loaded up favorite part of the trip uh i don't know those are chasing like, armadillos yeah chasing armadillos the armadillo chasers look right here show them where the hog root is right there mm. see all that this time of the year when there's no acorns dropping, there's really not much for hogs to eat. They'll come out into these pastures and destroy the place. And because this is an actual working cattle ranch, that can be very harmful to the rancher who has to then bring in a bunch of feed and that can get super expensive. So there's a reason why we try to keep the wild hog population in check. And that's one of them right there. So we'll see y'all the next stop, Palm City, Florida. Hi, right, Stormy. Yeah. Have fun. Have fun with the noises that these kids make. Uh, I'm gonna leave them all here. No, they're all yours. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mom to the rescue. Yeah, here, Jake. They love Key West. Nope. You're having them. Y'all's turn. All three of them. Nope. They want You guys want to go to Key West? You got uh -huh. school shoes? You can uh -huh. miss school. Yeah, I got them up front. Yeah. Love y'all. I love to miss school. I want to miss school. Love you, though. <laughs> I want to miss Have fun. Golly, those kids making those goofy noises for the last three hours is enough to make my beard even more gray. I don't know what Kelly's doing though. I think she had to use the bathroom pretty bad, y'all, because she come flying in the house. Where you at, babe? In the bathroom. Well, two hours later and we're ready to go. Can you tell me how this backpack got so heavy? GoPro's my laptop in it. That's what the camera box is. Oh my goodness, look at all the stuff, people. Coolers, rods, spear guns, pots and pans, more coolers, firewood, rice, one blonde, and that's just and in a the, measuring cup. And that's just in the back of the truck. Let's come around here. Where do we want to put it? Oh, put it in the pots and pans. Spear guns. More clothes hanging. We're bringing a Danko kit for dibs, dive gear, toiletries, suitcases, and most importantly, our editing gear. That's all of our computers. 
Dang, babe. We about got a peep show. The best part about this trip is I'm making her drive because we're not pulling anything. So we've got about uh, two and a half hours, three hours, depending on traffic, till we get to Isla Mirada where we're gonna eat and we will see y'all there. I found some fishing poles for us. <laughs> That's As good. As y'all can see, we have made it. And instead of trying to break my tips off the rods by carrying them up the stairs or in the elevator, uh-oh, you gotta drop the GoPro now. But can you catch it? I can catch it. <laughs> oh, and it actually spun around and it was filming on you now. Perfect. You guys, this Marriott here in Key West is so incredibly nice. We're used to renting houses or some other types of places down here. So we're new to these really, really nice resorts and hotels. But this one is worth it, trust me when I say. It's not too over fancy, it's not too over expensive, and it is straight up gorgeous. Wait till you see inside. Are you gonna come give us a tour? Yes, we have high ceilings, beautiful kitchen with a Kona color wood, granite countertops. We have a nice dining room table which is holding our supplies for the weekend. Beautiful painting of a mangrove out in the Florida Keys flats. That is a really beautiful painting. There's probably lobster right under that crack right there. As we make our way this way to, this way to the living room, we have some beautiful gold-plated coral pillows. Some cool shell phone paintings. I'm so tired right now. I made her drive all the way, folks, <laughs> which is the first time ever in the history not. of first our ever. relationship. No, Wait, I'm, I'm way more focused on this. And a big old bathtub. Jacuzzi style. Can we go to bed now? Yes, I'm way past you. We will show y'all the rest in the morning and also this amazing view out our back door because I'm gonna actually film in this video all the way to the boat before we go fishing tomorrow. That's where I'm gonna end this, just so y'all get the whole experience, but today, you have experienced thus far what it's like to live one day with us, except for I didn't show you all the driving. You know what we did, but I didn't show you all of it. Right there is the Gulf of Mexico, and in the morning it's gonna be so beautiful. So I'm glad y'all are here, stick around. There's lots more to go. Well, look at you up awful early. <laughs> early. Only because Blue Gobby had to kick her out of bed. Y'all look at the morning view now. Beautiful. It's gonna be a windy day today, I know that. Yellowtail fishing is going to be interesting to say the least. Super windy, probably a little bit rough. Guaranteed gonna be definitely a lot of fun though. What you putting on them? We have some turkey, ham, Swiss cheese, lettuce, and I got you mayo. You can't eat a sandwich without mayo. This is the most important thing in the morning though, right here. But this right here is the key ingredient. That's what I'm talking about, caramel. Girl, I'm about that oat milk life. Oat milk is actually, I think, better than like milk cream and coffee. Oof, right there y'all. Now we can wake up. I'll just stir it up a little bit. Probably have me about one and a half of these and I'll be out swimming the Wahoo this morning. <laughs> if you go to Gator Coolers, you can get you one of these cups. See how it doesn't leak? Got my logo, you can get your logo. You can use my promo code Blue Game and save 10% off your entire order. It's gonna be a good day. We'll see y'all down at the truck. Well, Blue Gabe is getting ready because he's actually a princess, just letting y'all know. I'm gonna show you guys pretty much our backyard here at this Marriott Hotel in Key West. Check it out. It's actually a very beautiful day. However, it is super windy. 
like always. But do you guys hear that? Hold on. There's a chicken over there. There's actually a rooster. I don't know where he is, but he's been cock a doodle doing since probably like 6.45 this morning, which was a lot better than last time we were here. That rooster jar crowing at like 3 a.m. Gabe was not happy. Where did he go? Now he stopped cock a doodle doing because I was filming. It's funny, it's funny. I feel like animals know when you're filming, they just stop doing what they're doing. In the comments below, sorry, I'm getting my hair like all on my lip, my lip balm here. In the comments below, let me know if we should get a rooster. <laughs> I don't think Gabe would love a rooster, but I think it'd be really cool. I love listening to the sounds of roosters, cock a doodle doo, in the morning. All right, I think Gabe's ready now. <laughs> yep. Princess, you ready? Yep. Let's go. Whoa, it smells good in here. I just ordered, I got um, two bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches and two guava pastries. Look at that. That's healing. Man, oh, I want some of these. Yeah. Yeah, I need two of those for sure. All right. You know what that is? Can we get two of these? Two. Two, please. I love me some Cuban food. Can I get one more bag? She can have the guava pastry, so I'm having me a big old chunk of fat back bacon. I can't think of the Cuban name of these things, but they are so good. Look at that. That is so good. Tastes like really, really thick fried bacon. Mm. I want to do this with a big wild hog that we catch. I wonder what she's doing in there. Oh yeah, it's good. You put lime and um, hot sauce. Lime and hot sauce? You're gonna be, who let you go? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? When I get paid Friday, I'm gonna buy one. Oh yeah? Here, try it. delicious. Oh no. You know what you need? Huh? Corona and lime. <laughs> Maybe yeah. later. No, but you're gonna be like a uh, Ricky Martin, living la vida loca. <laughs> oh, I love Ricky Martin. <laughs> try just a piece of the meat. It's like pork jerky. It's just hog. Try it, man. It's so windy. That's good. The bat, the, this bat strip kind of throws me off a little bit. That's so good, though. Is that the bacon? Technically? Yeah. Let's go shoot something. Hold up, hold up. Come whoa, here. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Y'all. Let me introduce to you Dibs on Bottom. Key, going on? Key West Waterman. If you follow along, you've been watching. Just pull a little oh chunk God, of the meat off. Right here? Just the oh, meat. Is that pork belly? Yes. Oh, it's so good. Kelly's like, I'm not eating that. Mm. How do you go wrong with that? My God. That's so rich. That's from El Mocho. Can we talk about this wind? You want the last <laughs> little piece? Oh, yeah. Um, it's gonna be a little breezy today. A little bit. I'm not gonna lie to you. Should we go on the Yankee cap? <laughs> <laughs> Give Greg a call. Nah, we'll be all right. Oh, man. I'm thinking it's gonna be a B-roll type of day. We've been out in first, yeah. Listen, I've got enough chum to make anything stupid, so I think we'll be all right. If you guys don't know who Dibs is, he has a YouTube channel, and I'll put it right here. He is Key West. Like, if you want to know what Key West is, that's him. Even his beard, even though he's trimmed it a little bit. You gotta play the part, you know? The first time we met him, it was down to like here. Then you got COVID, right? And yeah. It started to fall out. Cut my hair, trimmed the beard. Let's go down and show him the boat real quick. If you're wondering what this real big boat is right here, it's called the Yankee Cap. And it's actually a real famous boat down here in Key West. You can get on that and go like 100 miles to Pulley Ridge or 
the Tortugas, and they do three nights, two, three, and four day trips. It's pretty neat, and they crush the fish. You can actually bring like handheld electric gear on that boat and do it. You can regular rod and reel fish. It's a pretty neat deal. I know Joey. Isn't this the one Joey goes on? Um, I think he did a trip on that one once. But I think he goes on the one out of somewhere else. Uh, maybe Fort Myers? Yeah, that is the one he goes on with Fort Myers. So this is Dib's boat. Not only is he a YouTuber, but he's also a charter captain. When you're fishing and you're spear fishing, dude, he is legit as far as making sure his clients are perfectly taken care of. And all charter guys that I go with are, but I think what I'm trying to say is when we were spear fishing, he never comes out of work mode. Even though we're his friends and we are down here making videos and spending time with each other, he never comes out of captain mode. Like he is on point. So if you're looking for a good charter captain or a good YouTuber to watch, make sure you check out Dibs. But check out the chum. <laughs> yeah, he's getting the chum ready for today. We're gonna go try to do a yellowtail snapper video. I've always wanted to do one down here. And I think today's the day, it's just gonna be super rough. So, hey, this is it. This is us. You just got to see about a quarter of a normal day of me and Kelly Young. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Right now though, we're getting on this boat and headed out into the Bering Sea in 30, 30 mile an hour winds. <laughs> Like Jake always says though, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape.